When we apply a magnetic field to a sample, uh, we will find that the domains that are aligned favorably with the magnetic field will grow in size and the others will shrink in size. So this will result in a motion of the domain wall. So we will talk about this uh, domain wall motion in this video. So when a magnetic field H is applied to a ferromagnetic material the domain walls move in such a way that the domains aligned favorably with respect to the field grow at the expense of other domains. So the other domains will shrink in size. So as a demonstration of this, let's consider a 180 degree domain wall. So before I turn on the field, uh, I see this domain wall is at its original position, domain wall with delta. The uh, perpendicular, uh, the upward pointing domain is has a length x0 and the other one has a length l minus x0 plus the domain wall with delta. The domain wall has an area a. And when I apply a magnetic field H, I see that this domain wall uh, moves to the right so that the domain that is uh, aligned with the magnetic field grows in size and that is anti-parallel with the magnetic field is going to shrink in size. So <coughs> if I consider the energy per unit volume of one domain, uh, I can see that uh, the energy per unit volume of one domain is decreased by an amount, the Zeeman energy minus mu zero saturation magnetization dot product with the magnetic field as a result of domain wall motion. The neighboring domain, which is shrinking in size, it also has its energy decreased by the same amount, is also decreased by the same amount. So if I now calculate the total change in the energy, the total change in the energy of the two domains will be minus 2 mu zero uh, area times the distance the domain wall travels ms dot h. So this is the uh, the change in the volume area times x. So one has its volume decreased by this amount, one has its volume increased by this amount, and we see that uh, the, the total energy change is minus 2 mu zero ax ms dot h, where a is the area of the wall. So 
uh, we can say that the wall feels a force per unit area. So if this is the total energy gain, uh, well, total energy uh, decrease by the motion of the uh, domain wall to the right with an amount x, uh, displacement x, uh, so we can say that the wall feels a pressure. So it feels a force per unit area, which is domain wall pressure. So how much is this pressure? The force per unit area the domain wall will feel is minus 1 over area dE total dx because a force is a minus gradient of the potential energy. So we can see that the force, because it's a conservative uh, force, then we can see that the pressure, force per area, or pressure, is equal to... Um, so I'm going to divide it by area. Area will disappear, and the derivative with respect to x will get rid of x, and the minus sign will make it plus. So it is 2 mu 0 ms dot product with the magnetic field. So the, the domain wall moves subject to a pressure 2 mu 0 ms dot product with the externally applied magnetic field. Okay, so uh, when I apply a magnetic field to a ferromagnetic material, its domains that are aligned favorably with the field will grow in size, the others will shrink in size. There is an, a decrease in the Zeeman energy by doing so in uh, both sides of the domain wall. So if I have a con if I have a 180 degree domain wall, let's assume I have uniaxial anisotropy, and if uh, I turn on a magnetic field, the domain wall moves a distance x so that the domain that is uh, pointing parallel to the magnetic field grows in size so that it has a length x0 plus x. And the one that is uh, aligned anti-parallel to the magnetic field decreases its length by an amount x. So both of these actions will cause a decrease in the Zeeman energy minus mu zero ms dot h uh, per volume. And because the volume of one has increased uh, by uh, x zero uh, x times a, and the one and the other one has decreased by x uh, times a. The effect is the same because the uh, moments were pointing uh, anti-parallel in the other domain. So we have a total change in the energy minus 2 mu 0 uh, Ax, that's the volume, the change in the volume, ms dot h. Uh, so the wall feels a force per unit area pressure, which is a minus 1 over area, uh, the derivative of the energy with respect to x, or you can see that uh, as a vector we can write this the force is uh, minus 1 over area force over area is minus 1 over area dE total dx in the i hat direction so if, if I call this the x-axis and uh, therefore I see that the pressure that is felt by the uh, wall is 2 mu 0 ms dot product with 8.